This episode of Capes and Lunatics Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off free shipping and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. This Luca Parrish, and you are listening to Vacation the Lunatic Sidekicks podcast. This is DG Chichester, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. Why did you say that name? Find out. Listen till the end. That's right, everyone. And we're back with more Daredevil. The majority of these issues. Anyway, yes, welcome back to Comic Capers, episode 95. That's right, Damn, we're getting there. 100's coming in January. Anyway, I am still joining me as always. She who dwells in eternal darkness. And doesn't it lives without fear? Definitely it's little hellfire. Y'all should fear me, not the other way around. <laughs> I'm, I'm one election away from being a villain, guys. <laughs> one more announcement away. She's all locked in here with you. You're all locked in here with her. <laughs> anyway, yes. So we're back to talk more Daredevil. Well, the the, the arc right after, well, the arc or two after the last one we just did. Uh, Dare, Daredevil 291 through 296. Remember when runs were short? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Remember when they were concise and to the point? Definitely, but no, because even masterfully crafted. In and out, real quick. Hey, hey, rematch. Oh yes, because yes, issue two ninety one from April nineteen ninety one is uh yeah the last Innocenti uh, issue. You did a good job, kiddo. You did a good job. <laughs> talking to me or Anne? <laughs> Anne, of course. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's a rematch between Daredevil and Bullet because before, Bullet before he left New York, yeah, Daredevil had, had a few encounters with Bullet, but uh, the last one, Typhoid, had put together a little crew to mess up Daredevil, and Bullet was in there. I guess they couldn't get the Marlboro sponsorship, by the way. I see Bull Bro. <laughs> okay, you know, maybe you don't want to, ins- you know, maybe they're like, hmm, are they ever going to advertise with them? <laughs> nah, they weren't advertising. They knew who their market was. It's not kids. It's never been kids. Yes, because in all the news that fits, this story, yeah, uh, it starts with a... Ben doing Ben doing a story on uh or wants to do a story on that. Yo, Rick! <laughs> uh, the stock car races. Yeah, the, the cigarette one blows up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, remember when NASCAR was sponsored by like Budweiser, not Sprint or whatever? Yeah. I remember those days. <laughs> oh, did you see the car in front of uh the one that blows up? It's Marvel. Exactly. They wish they had the money to <laughs> to sponsor her with stock car back then. They wish. Well, yeah, because Ben's like, oh, they, you know, cigarette companies can't advertise on TV anymore. But they found a loophole. They put their names on uh, the radio. Exactly. Now it's all Home Depot and Tide detergent. I just love how he's like walking by a pay, fo- pay phone, kids. He's like, there must be someone. What's he gonna do? Run into Superman? <laughs> must must have must have. He's like, there's somebody I have to probably have to call. Right? So it's probably, okay, let me get my calls in for the day before I get back to the office. Ew, could you imagine? Like, I just, I'm so glad the payphones are disgusting. Hashtag fight me. I'm glad that we're we're away from, we've moved away from that. <laughs> you mean, you mean the public toilets of their day? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad the rich didn't keep cell phones for themselves. Let's just put it that way. Well, I mean, they might, they might have, but I think uh, the company saw there how much money there was, <laughs> there was in it. Especially like Apple, but yeah. So Ben's calling this guy. That protest highway. Oh my god! I can't think about protests on the highway. This yeah. is hitting too close to home in 2020. Yeah, he's gonna get this map from this contractor. Yes, the highway's gonna chop through a lot of homes. But... I'm sorry, Mister York. This map is no longer available. <laughs> 
kids don't even know what dial tones are, do they? No. <laughs> Uh, because yes, because the contractor's been convinced by bullet. Uh, rabbit ears around that convinced. That's physical right. coercion, as we can clearly see in the next panel. You know, convinced. He even apologizes about getting rough, and I'm just like, I don't believe you for some reason, but I'm just a working stiff, just like you. Man, is that like a did he is that like a lead pipe or something he beat him with? I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I was like, who's a, who's compensating? Because I was just like, look how big it is. <laughs> look how big it is. Look how big it is. He even tells him to get himself washed up. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> ah, it's almost like a. I want to say a rape, but he's like, yeah, go clean yourself up. See, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Meanwhile, in Hell's Kitchen. Oh, yes. I love, and again, modern comics, you know, we'd have to like do like an issue or two summary and deal with everything that happened. And just has Daredevil standing on She's like, either you read it or you didn't. Moving on. <laughs> you know, a couple quick, couple quick thought bubbles. And it's like, okay, I'm going to think about this once and shove it in the past and never deal with it. Okay. It's, it's like, not- like real men. <laughs> this, this isn't why Matt has nervous breakdowns all the time now like every every 50 issues yeah <laughs> i think that's the timing nowadays i know i left the city went to hell probably and back probably probably to forget about what happened the trauma made me lose my mind for a while but now it's back and i feel stronger than ever. um you're still dressing up in a red spandex costume sir so i i have questions if you think that that fix that <laughs> i have questions yes but i'm actually i'm shaving again using a toilet come on i'm, I'm batting a thousand <laughs> But first, I have a little fun. Let's go beat up the hoodlums. <laughs> okay, Bruce, calm down. <laughs> ah! Hey, hey, some people get their jollies a certain way. Oh, come on, Lil. Think you haven't enjoyed beating you a know, man. A, a bar brawl is fine every now and then. At least alcohol's involved. Plausible deniability. That man. <laughs> that man. He doesn't even drink. I don't even know why I like Batman anymore. The, the older I get, he's like, he doesn't drink. He broods. He doesn't spread his wealth. If Bruce Wayne's not careful, Gotham might actually eat the rich because they're that crazy there. Just, just... <laughs> oh no, not a little black kid. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, there's a tomato right there, though. <laughs> Maybe I should have done that. He looks mad. <laughs> I mean, if this had been bullseye, like, boy, that was dumb. <laughs> I mean, especially what if this had still been bullseye? <laughs> right. <laughs> He, he would have killed the kid with the tomato. Yeah, he's running away. Boy, that was dumb. But then he's like, I think I lost. Not so fast, you. Like, <laughs> where'd you come from? Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I don't want to hurt you. But the papers, everyone says you turn killer. You don't protect us no more. I used to love you, Daredevil. I thought you were the greatest. Why'd you turn bad? But that it, was, it wasn't me. And it's true. In Shaggy voice, it wasn't me. No. <laughs> Someone stole my costume and uh, went on a rampage. Likely story. I mean, I'm, it happens to every superhero, but likely story. We totally don't believe you. I know. Wait, listen to me. That wasn't me. He's like thinking, yeah, the streets no longer trust me. Bulls, I did more damage. Daredevil still got to win back his good name, or might as well throw this suit away. Uh, I mean, it's not, it won't be the first time, won't be the last time that you throw the suit away. So. Yeah. Oh my lord! And then this kid, Daredevil, no more forever. Again, <laughs> in the trash can. Uh oh! But then Bullet's son. Uh, geez. This kid was like this before too. You know, he's all worried about war and stuff. And he and was a, what, what the kids call a prepper. <laughs> and again, it's just like you know, boy, that and that was just the Persian Gulf War. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, that really wasn't nothing <laughs> comparatively. Oh, yeah. I remember in school we were talking about it. It's like, yeah, I mean, the, the minute the U.S. Oh, you get to watch it in green uh, in green night vision on CNN. <laughs> I know that you know the minute the, the troops roll with guns, they were like, yeah, we surrender. It's like, yeah, we're just we're just protecting the oil field. Let's just be honest here. We don't know pants enough. Okay. It's like, oh look, yeah, he's got a little girlfriend over. 
Uh, he offers a wet canned food and freeze dried ice cream. <laughs> you gotta learn to eat in a post nuke world. You could be trapped here for months. Ah, the effects of the cold post cold world war. Yeah. Okay, I'll allow it. <laughs> and then I guess Bullet's calling his ex wife. He's like, "It's your. You're supposed to pick him up. It's your week." <laughs> He's your son! Is she getting ready for a hot date or something? Heck yeah, look at that red lipstick. No, uh, what's that mean, though? I'm not allowed to say this is uh, this is family friendly. I'm not allowed to uh, say. Nobody tell Rob! <laughs> <laughs> if it was a Deadpool podcast, I'd say it, but... Okay, we'll let you go. Suck, suck! <laughs> uh... So yeah, so she hangs up. That's and, at Nightwing PDP. Uh, so yeah, so Bullet's all mad at his wife. I'm trying to remember. I don't think we ever did get Bullet's real name. Really? I don't think. Hmm. Mm, cause yeah, cause after and the sent he left. I mean, he might have showed up. No one cared. Twice, but yeah, <laughs> he, he up once or twice, but yeah, I don't think we really got into him. Because I'm trying to remember, this might be the last time we see the kid, even. Thank God. You know, no offense. Marvel kids are annoying. Yes, even you, Franklin. Maybe you most of all, sir. <laughs> well, this kid has an excuse. I, I like Because I think like Bullet just like leaves the kid alone in the apartment for like days at a time. It's just like... <laughs> he was a latchkey kid, you know. Mm-hmm. Total 90s thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me and Lil were there. Yep. <laughs> Uh-oh, what's this picture? Don't what? answer that! No. That chicken better be defrosted when I get home! <laughs> and if it was snowing, shovel the driveway before I get home. Yikes! <laughs> I mean, it was a small driveway. I can't relate. <laughs> well, if it's like snow, ew. Caring about weather that I don't give a crap about. My sweet summer child. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, Bullet gets all mad and throws the girl out. So then he apologizes to his son. Just breaking up his son's fun, you know what I'm saying? Uh, exactly. Yeah, I thought you wanted me to be a man one day. Exactly. <laughs> Come here, son. I'll never do it again, even though you always blow up at him. Oh, oh Lord. well, you know he's shooting him like a redheaded stepchild because he's halfway there. <laughs> exactly. Oh my lord! But then, then we see Foggy. He, he saved the trunk of Matt's stuff from. He says, from "I'll the, wait for you now. If you don't ship Matt and Foggy, I'm sorry. You just don't have a heart. You just you, if you can't see it, something's wrong with you. You're blind." The, um. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, Suck it, Conan. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Suck it, Conan. He's like, I'll wait for you. Look at him, like, treasuring their moments together. <laughs> Looking at pictures of Matt's ex girlfriend. <laughs> it's like, I got rid of you. That's the plot twist that we'll see in probably like five years. <laughs> what well, well, movie's like, oh, I saved, yeah, he saved, supposedly saved the trunk of Matt's stuff from the fire. Fire? The house blew up, dude. <laughs> for insurance purposes. Fire. <laughs> They're lawyer. Well, Foggy's a good lawyer, so for insurance purposes. Yeah. So was that a fireproof trunk? Could be. Yeah, they it's found Marvel. They found this. A, they found this. A, they found a gym at the uh, you know, underneath your house. It's like, why would a blind guy need a gym? <laughs> well, no, with like gymnastic equipment. It was there when I moved in. Uh... I know. Uh, I guess. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, so Foggy's uh pining for Matt, and then then back to the bugle. What is this, a Spider Man? <laughs> exactly. Uh, An yeah. office of a one J Jonah Jameson. <laughs> yeah, he's saying he's telling Ben the tobacco story's great. What about the highway map? That's a problem. I called to pick it up, and suddenly, funny ears, the builder refuses to give it up. Jonah, typical. That means some developer wants to buy the land first before anyone knows about the highway. Land that overnight will be worth millions. Millions, I tell you. And so, yeah. Jonah tells him, find the map. Now I'm determined to print it. He's like, I'm ashamed I went down at Jonah. He's a good man. 
Um, Who's that thought? Put that feather in your cap. He wants to sell papers, but he also knows what's important. The truth. How could I have thought he'd censor my tobacco story? I mean, it's kind of weird because Jonah does smoke cigars. so Exactly. Or maybe what? that wasn't that. Maybe that wasn't tobacco. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa! And and Ben sit, sit there smoking a cigarette. But yeah, so he's trying to figure out how to get that map, and Matt comes in the window. Smoking's got your senses so dulled, you're like a deaf and blind man, Ben. Burn. It's more really a smell and a taste thing than being blind and deaf. But you know, you yeah. need all your senses to be firing. Well, Matt doesn't, you know. It's me, the real daredevil. Just mildly manic. <laughs> well, at least he knows. But is he going to get help? That's the real question. <laughs> I know. Yeah, because Ben was all worried. It was the it was bullseye. Listen, Ben, thanks for standing up for me. You're the only one writing good pieces about me. What? Every other journalist, including your boss, called for a lynching. <laughs> and he, he tells Benny owes him, and he's like, hey, that's a dangerous thing to say to a journalist. What about I got a corrupt builder, a greedy... A crep builder, a greedy developer, and a missing map that can fix the whole thing. You got it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my lord. And then, oh, look, uh, once again, the kingpin's trying to get legitimate, so. Legitimate business corporate headquarters. <laughs> he's, he's, so he's trying to play. So, so he's trying to learn some golf here. <laughs> but, yeah, uh. they got a membership in the Skull and Bones Club. What's that? Sounds that like that's not how that works. Honestly, if you know, you know that's not how that works. <laughs> I mean, think about it. I mean, come on, would you really let George Bush in if it wasn't about something other than money? Just saying. Yeah, well, I think that family was there for you. you probably in there. Exa for you. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it's the most exclusive club out of Yale. Members have gone on to be CIA chiefs, even presidents. Many of the most important men in this country are members. And oh. You ain't it, buddy. They would not let you in. So this is the least believable thing in a comic book I've ever read. <laughs> I know. And then oh. as a conspiracy theorist, this is the least credible thing I've ever seen in a comic book. And of course, he's behind the whole bullet map thing. Of course. Uh, and then I don't know. He wants some kind of big public work, a park, a new zoo for children. I don't care as long as. A you made in my honor. That's I don't gonna care. be a lot of granite, homie. Oh. <laughs> I don't care. I don't know if that's gonna be uh, stable, <laughs> able to stabilize itself. I don't care what's uh, as long as the name Fisk is associated with some great gift to the people. Our new image of generosity and benevolence. Not look at my 18 sacks of potatoes piled together. No, sir. <laughs> and then he's starting his own television station and newspapers. So. Who is he, Rupert Murdoch? Well, I was going to say, yeah, he's, he's looking Whoops. at... Uh, <laughs> oh, he's looking at logos. Building himself an empire. Why That's did your eyes move over to my box? <laughs> As you do. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how what, much... What's the line? Money, power, respect, and then... Boop! <laughs> Whoa, here's the, here's the line. I wonder how much money we should be putting into this. Is media really all that powerful? Uh, yeah. uh Who's going to tell him? Like, he should have got smacked out the window for that comment. Do we really have to own the media? It's a, it's in fashion for all the... Uh, oh, the tyrants. Oh, yes. How about new? Somebody. Somebody tell him. <laughs> Meanwhile, let's cut to uh, good old Maddie. Oh, yeah. Again, you know, modern storytelling. We had to put a bit another issue or two matches tracking bullet down, but we're already on. No, we're ready to kick some butt. We're already on. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I've already been to the office. Yeah, I smelled bullet all over it. Yeah. Ew, that's his scent. That's the, ugh. That, that's probably honestly the worst part of being Daredevil. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, I know. Because you know, bullet doesn't smell like sunshine and roses. <laughs> oh my lord and and just imagine i mean not to get too gross but it's just like whenever you smell someone's bad fart imagine if you're amplified by a thousand yeah your sense of smell is that amped up oh my god i love how he's like i thought you were dead R rumors of my death have been great <laughs> i was waiting for him to say yeah. that he's just like not quite <laughs> yeah cause he thought, yeah because matt's sleeping over rooftop and he finds him he just comes down and like 
drop kicks him in the face and punch him. Living the dream, Daredevil. Living the dream. I love how like a guy goes missing for months and all of a sudden everyone just thinks he's dead. Well, I mean it's super. Well, I fun. mean it's New York. Anything could happen. I know, but don't you think someone would have like came for the body just to claim the reward or something? I mean, it's floating in the East River. It's floating in the East River. Right. You know? In a cat. In a cab. <laughs> I love poor. What do you want? A map. Map, you got to cheat a lot of people out of a lot of money. Give it to me the easy way, or I'll take it the hard way. Uh, uh -huh. he, yeah. Oh my lord! I don't know. <laughs> how, text alert. I don't know how closely you're paying attention to me and Ray's talk, but there's at least two good drops in there. Oh no, no, I heard them both, sir. Okay. <laughs> I, I love it. I think the second one he looks up, he's like, that was a drop, wasn't it? I was like, yeah, oh. I started laughing. Then you just go, I got it, little dog. <laughs> Poor Ray. Hey, I told him I'm going to put some of his ads in between our segments for Ultimate Spider Cast 100. So it, not like he's not well compensated for his, his pain and suffering. Oh, of course. But of course, Daredevil wants to uh, improve his image. Of course, everyone sees him fighting. Look, it's a fight. Oh, could you imagine? Like, you have this terrible, your name is Mud, and you're getting into a fight, and you know, Bullet doesn't look like a supervillain, he just looks like an everyday schmo, so, <laughs> you're just, you're, it's terrible. The papers say Daredevil's gone bad, he looks pretty heroic to me, because he's beating on that fat man. I'm never buying a newspaper again, I was like, hashtag 2020 vibes. <laughs> And just coincidentally, unless it's like the same neighborhood that yeah, that's, that's that black kid. Uh, he said he he wanted a map that's gonna cheat people. I love yeah, the, you know, matches like kicks bullet into a like the side of a car. <laughs> just all just laying there. <laughs> I don't know, bullet's all out of shape. I guess he's, he's all. <sighs> You've gotten faster, Daredevil. You've gotten fatter. <laughs> no fat shaming. Leave our ample Americans alone. So I don't know. If bullets just been uh. Hasn't been keeping up since Matt left, but yeah, Matt's in shape. He's on the Even without the gymnasium underneath his home. Hey, man, that Mephisto workout plan. Look, it's done wonders for Aunt May. <laughs> Uncle Ben's trying to keep her alive and out of hell for as long as possible. I don't get it. The paper's called Daredevil, a psychotic killer. Surprise, surprise. The newspapers lied as usual. What else is new? Oh, my Lord, 1991. And the crowd's already seen fake news. As they should have been. I know. <laughs> wish I wish more people had that kind of common sense in 2020. That's all I'll say about that. And again, this kid's not afraid. He, yeah, he, once Daredevil like knocks out. Well, when you grow up in New York, <laughs> you know, you play stickball in the street. <laughs> and especially in the Marvel Universe, think about it. You're pretty, you know. Yes, yeah. Because yeah, after Daredevil knocks out Bullet, the kid just pulls the map out of his pocket. So here you go, mister. <laughs> Here's the map. He's like, no problem. Sorry, sorry about the street. Sorry about before. The street just had you wrong for a while. No problem. Just spread the word, okay? Welcome back, Daredevil. <laughs> Welcome and, back. And again, again, this you know, classic storytelling versus modern. I mean, we never find out this kid's name. We never find out his backstory. You know, if this was like a Bendis story, we would see like three, three issues. Yeah, like two to three issues just on the kid's home life and stuff, and yeah, you know, what what's he doing in school? Uh, I'm sorry, but Bendis, Bendis, Bendis. We really should stop pooping on Bendis once he leaves Superman officially. I know, I, I, that's my white whale. I want, I want Bendis for Capes 200. <laughs> We're gonna have to scrub the internet. <laughs> you'll, you'll stand and up. We just. We we're upset. We're just disappointed because we know he could do so much better. That that's what it is. Because we are truly fans of Bendis, some of Bendis' stuff. Good and good and bad. He is one of the architects of modern comic book uh, storytelling. I, I like dialogue, but not that much dialogue. <laughs> what dialogue? What are you talking about? I don't know. What is dialogue are you talking about? What did she about? say? What did he say? Well, she said that you said that we know that you know that I know. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Gotta scrub this this episode. <laughs> Snap. Yeah, and I was like, oh, it was Fisk over here getting his Thanos on. <laughs> bullet wakes up. You won fair. Maybe I even deserve that. We're even now. Next time, I won't pull my punches. Dare to be right. Oh, but now, look, Kingpin's all mad. He, he didn't get the map. Yeah. 
throwing a tantrum like a little baby. Breaking his golf club. What? Call the publisher. Oh, because these because this guy tells him the fuel has it. Call the publisher. Get that map out. I call he him. He said something about having limits in ethics. I can't relate, but if you say so. What's going on? First, an ethical builder, now an ethical publisher. Bah. <laughs> The 90s. That's it. I can't rely on anyone anymore. They're all losing their minds. I'll build my I'll own. I'll build my own media company. I mean, you could say eventually. This is Rupert Murdoch. I mean, you could say. <laughs> no, it's Trump. Because, I mean, you could say eventually Fisk, you know, gets somewhat successful because he's the mayor of New York right now. Listen, Trump wishes he had the successes of freaking Wilson Fisk. I mean, let's be honest. To be president of the United States post 2004, eh, it's not saying much. That bar was lowered. Hey, hey, it, you think it was easy for Obama? No. It was lowered. That's all that I'm saying. They're like, yeah, yeah, get, give it to the black guy. Let's try something different. We've been doing this for 200 years, 200 plus years. Let's try something different. I was going to say, we'll have to have a discussion one day with Charlie or something. I was going to say, Lilith, how did, how did you feel that, you know, they're the country is like, hmm, who do we want if first? If we're going to elect who a do we want first, A black man or a any any woman? <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely not Hillary. Definitely not. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, they didn't want Hillary. <laughs> Nobody wanted her. <laughs> anyway, including her husband. Moving on. Oh! <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> fight me. I don't care. <laughs> of the 90s. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, see, I'm going to build my own company. It will dwarf all others. We'll Let's make see. it gold. I mean, we'll make it big. What sells newspapers? Crime, tragedy, violence. Then we'll just have to start a war. Oh, Ooh, I mean, he's not lying, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, news does manipulate you, especially the local news. It's like, this is in your grocery store. It could kill you. Find out at 10. I know where I'm going to the grocery store now. <laughs> yeah, I hope those one looks like oh, you know. What's in your home is hazardous in your health. Tune in Friday. It's, like, <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That definitely like kind of took off in the 90s for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, but there's Jonah in his office. <laughs> Sometimes you can't let yourself be bullied. Even if they do threaten to break your legs, I can almost hear the kingpin screaming. <laughs> and then he, oh, but Jonah gets a call. Then he's like, Ooh, yeah. Advertisers are getting too powerful. <laughs> oh, they wish in 2020. <laughs> They wish. Yes, I got the picture. Yes, I got that part. This is economic censorship. I don't care how big Bullboro's account is. Yeah. Yeah, Ben sees that. He's not too happy. He's like, the story is mutilated. You cut out the picture. Cut out the whole point. I said you understood. Now it's just tracing news. Then we had to cut it. We printed that map, and you know, it was bigger than we thought. Speak that. We need to face. So, yeah, so then the story ends with Matt and Foggy reuniting. And it feels so good. Hey, hey, did you save me some of them fries? <laughs> Look at his face when he's like, Matt? Well, yeah. So sweet. Before it was like Matt, you know, once when Foggy went through work with the Kingpin, he just felt, you know, he knew Matt was like disappointed. But actually see Matt come back. He wasn't upset. He was just disappointed. Part of reuniting. Exactly. I was like, oh, see, see, end on a happy note. You don't have to end on an outrageous, titillating, salacious ending. Sometimes you can just end on a simple happy note. It's exactly. not a crime. And it's in the sense you lost the issue. It's like, you know. She broke them up and put them back together, which a lot of modern comics writers don't do anymore. Yeah. Or they're actually, they don't get the chance to, to be honest, if we're going to be honest, a lot of the times. And no letters page, just an ad for a naked Wolverine. <laughs> As you do, it is the nineties. <laughs> Weapon X. But this Marvel <laughs> They need to start reprinting some of those Marvel Comics presents. I want to read all those. They haven't yet? No, I think um when, when I know when uh Ray and I were talking to Terry Cavanaugh, because I think he was was he the editor over there. You know, I think just with so many different writers and just there would be too much paperwork and you know probably have to pay out so many people just like uh. Oh, that sucks. I mean, I get it. It's a business, but that sucks. Yeah, I think that's the only art they ever reprinted from that was that Wolverine Weapon X one. All right, so on to 292 and the beginning of G, uh, DG Chichester's run. The battle with the Punisher. Lilith's favorite when he's got when he's uh 
Competent. Competent. Ah, nice little double dragon. Uh, double dragon three. Yeah, wow. The sacred stones. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh, yeah, we get a guy with his shirt off. Uh, first, first panel. <laughs> Second panel, but yeah. I love this. Oh, yeah, because look, he's uh, training. Uh, he's shown Taskmaster some stuff. That's the last thing you want to do to be the terrible idea, honestly. <laughs> I love this. I love this. You want to learn to start paying attention. It took me 10 years to learn these techniques. And uh, the Chinese call it chi, the Japanese call it kai. No, that can't be right. I love Taskmaster. Oh, that's too bad. It took me 10 minutes to learn all your stuff. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my lord! And then we see a business meeting break up, and uh, one of these guys gets killed by. Oh, look! It's Ray's favorite tombstone. Tombstone. Uh, I don't like being toyed with. Funny, thought you would have thought you'd like that. Seems how you're good at it, though. <laughs> but he like basically takes this guy to death in a coat check room. <laughs> because then, look, I mean. Kills them and then Lois and Clark can't get their codes. Yeah, I was right. It's key. What? My Japanese is rusty, but it's key. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, oh, look, Taskmaster, Tombstone. Oh, snap. We're going to have a hell of a time this issue. <laughs> That's right. All right. Hey, I, like I told you, I have that clip from our DG Chichester uh, interview. Here's like 37 seconds of his thoughts on uh, Tombstone. A reoccurring villain that kept popping up early on, which I think certain writers either don't get this guy or just make him the butt of the joke sometimes. Uh, Tombstone. Yeah, Tombstone was fun. Tombstone was was badass. I mean, he was he was trouble and weird and and you know, we tried to give him some, you know, motivations to what he was doing as opposed to just this uh, you know, alabaster um Hitman, uh, so he he had a lot of uh, great qualities, and I, I re recognize that going back and and reading you know some of the the work there and and seeing what I was able to do with him. So quick thought. I just every time I see Taskmaster, I just go Marvel Skeletor. Oh, every time. But he's more he's more more badass than Skeletor. Like I said, I, I'm glad that he's finally making his debut in the MCU. I'm sad, kind of sad that it's in the Black Widow movie, the way that it's going right now. Well, eventually, maybe he'll branch out to other movies. Put him where he survived. belongs with Deadpool. If he's not that movie. Oh, yeah. I want to see him in Deadpool. Man. Uh, but oh, and then we see Daredevil tracking down a, uh, I guess, a source. <laughs> yeah, this Mr. Chen. <laughs> Yeah, that's who, that's who Tombstone killed, Mr. Chin. Isn't that, it? Was that the Kingpin's nickname? For my software? Oh, God. Ugh. 90s software? Ah! Unless it was Age of Empires. <laughs> so, yeah. PC gamer from way back. I don't know how Tombstone kills that guy and then just like, he's keeping a little tally in a notebook. You know he's not he's not as hardcore about it as a uh, you know Zaz. as Deadshot. He's not or, gonna tattoo himself or, or um, even uh you know Zazzles. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! But yeah, he's a fancy man with a little notebook. Like I said, Lois and Clark can't get their coat now. Their coat. <laughs> but yeah, then uh, Daredevil's tracking down. Remember this guy? I guess. Uh, one of Daredevil's snitches. Uh, his sphinx. His stool pigeons. I guess the guy that was on the talk, he's like shooting into the air. But I love this how, like, yeah, you know, he, he's explaining how his, you know, with his uh, radar sense, he's tracking all the bullets and stuff. It's a risky maneuver, but then I didn't get my nickname just anywhere. My out. hypersenses, they're all, they're coming alive around me. <laughs> I love this guy thinks he's going to knock out Daredevil. <laughs> there were other options, Cass. You're the one who took this one. Pizza delivery. And remember. Teenage the Mutant Ninja Turtle. <laughs> ah! 
And remember this scene because we'll keep coming back up. Yeah, the Daredevil has got uh, tied to a water tower and just basically gives him the old Chinese water torture. <laughs> Because he's like, because he's asking about the killings. One of them was your pal Ernie Saltz, because that's the guy past master kill. He spent a lot of time teaching shady characters antisocial chop suey stuff. Oh, I just hold on. I need a break. I need a. I need a commercial break real quick. Score. You are not the official co- baseball card of the '90s. Stop it. Stop your lies. The Moving Mi- on. The Mickey Mantle of baseball card. <laughs> That those are some claims, sir. Those are some claims. I know. So yeah, uh, yeah, this guy doesn't want to talk. So yeah, like I said, Daredevil just like breaks the tower enough, giving the old Chinese water torture, Boop. one drop at a time. My nice fight, isn't it, Mad Dog? He's wow. the answer, Hornhead. <laughs> oh Lord, and back to the kingpin. The kingpin. But why? The Kingpin, Typhoid, and remember Colonel Strand. He's not all he appears to be. He may look like Colonel Sanders, but I say, I say, I say. You would, I say, you would. But yes, it's gonna invest in uh, the Kingpin's legitimate stuff. Uh, I told him Wilson Fisk was first and foremost a legitimate businessman, offering us a ground floor opportunity. A legitimate businessman. Sure. It is kissing that butt. <laughs> I'll wire over the money. Good day, sir. <laughs> I love a I said good day, sir. <laughs> it's like Kingpin, like getting, you know, he wants typhoid advice on business stuff. Um, No, he's just trying to make her feel special, you know. Strang is an idiot. How are we supposed to build a media empire with a backwoods bozo holding us back? We don't need Strang. You always build your empire in the back of southern bozos. I'm just saying, historically speaking, that's how you do it. I want to basically tell them how they're going to exploit the guy and just like, now, the day, that concludes the day's business. Can we get on with the night's pleasures? I told you. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> no, my dear. You said you you said you could take dictation, right? That's at Nightwing PDP. <clears throat> oh, then we see Colonel Strang in his limo. That's right. You can wire him through any old time, and when you do, make sure our people are there to follow them, so we can seize control of the fat man's accounts from within. Yeah. <laughs> what you think is gonna go down is not how that's gonna go down. <laughs> That's at Little Hellfire. Yeah. Yes, that's that's gonna culminate in our next uh, comic capers. <laughs> but yeah, so then we see Daredevil back to tower. The cast is like, yeah, 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 all right, I'll tell you, just make it stop. I don't know nothing. Last guy I know all I know is the last guy I put on the salts was task it was Taskmaster, man. You know, dude who picks up whatever he sees and it tastes like a son of a gun. Thank you for that recap. I know. <laughs> random exposition is random, but appreciated. He's like, I thought he just wanted Bruce Lee lessons. I didn't know he's gonna kill him. I I didn't know nothing. You know, Cass, there's still time to keep them from being your epitaph. You're gonna let me down, aren't you? Daredevil and ties him. Repent all, repent ye sinners and all that. Just something to think about. Oh my lord, no, this guy. Never go near water again. Stay clean, mad dog, so to speak. Writes laundry. Who do you think that's a reference to? Oh. Was that, was that art? Was that artist Greg Wright? But then later we see Matt and Foggy working on, uh, I guess they appeal to get Matt's law license back. Which they went a while without that. I mean, from fall, uh, born again till that, you know, he didn't get his license back to like 300. So it was like. Did he even deserve it, to be honest? <laughs> he He's do a terrible good lawyer. He could do more good that way, little over. Uh Foggy can do more good that way. I don't know about him. Yeah, but what he else? should be like the paralegal, if anything. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Got the legs for it. <laughs> 
Oh my God! The help me, help me save Mary Jane. No, <laughs> no, I'm getting terrible flashbacks. Well, she's, oh yeah, the, the phone thing. Yeah. So yeah, that's thinking about you know the whole Daredevil thing while they're talking about the law stuff. Um, Lord. But then we see uh, Tombstone meet up with Taskmaster. Hard as marble, cold as ice. Catchy Tombstone, very catchy. <laughs> But not what I hear. Rumor has there was a not so little blow up tore you and your rep up. So, what are you now? Hard as ice cream, cold as burn. I know, man. Burn. But uh, ne never fear, because you know who's gonna who's gonna come crashing in. Oh yeah, yeah. Because Tombstone telling me I got thirty six confirmed hits. All the who's and how's in this book. No book. And Tombstone's like, I remember them all. That's a. Uh... That's pretty ballsy to put it in a book, to put it in writing. That that's not smart, but I okay. guess yeah. He's, he doesn't have a good memory, but yeah. To, Taskmaster's like, I remember every one. I can show them the way I killed all of them. Meanwhile, while, while they're both distracted, they put that put that sword in Tombstone's face. <laughs> they they set hands off each other, and you better thank God I want to win this thing enough to play by their rules. They who's they? <laughs> Yeah, watching from above. There's no question how ruthless and vicious these two can be. So yeah, so he yeah, Daredevil's up in the rafters, and then he's like, "Wait, I heard something up above." Metal crash. Ba 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 boom! Frank Castle in the his house. Yeah, I believe that person on the roof is miscolored in that fourth panel on page twenty-two. <laughs> It can't all be perfect all the time, buddy. He's in, yes, neither will I. So, yeah, I guess he comes crashing through the window, guns blazing. Some self appointed judge, jury, and executioner. <coughs> Frank comes, yeah, Frank Castle, the Punisher. All right, so here we go. You're Little not solving anything here, Punisher. Now, scram. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that was like tackling him. Because. <sighs> uh, Tombstone's just going on and on about the contest. That's all part of the contest. I love how it's like, you're lucky you only get this end, and I'm like... Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Go yeah. on! <laughs> like, yeah, pistol with the back of an Uzi. <laughs> I got no time for your big picture whining. I win my war one enemy at a time. Maybe you should look at the bigger picture? I don't know. No, I don't know. Those are the best stories when you do. Just saying. So then, yeah, Taskmaster, Tombstone, hijack a city bus. Tokens or exact change? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> oh, Lord. New York bus drivers. <laughs> They've it's seen it all. It's bus drivers. Oh, yeah, bus drivers in any city. My dad was a bus driver. <laughs> oh, the stories. So, yeah, so they commandeer the bus. Frank and Daredevil jump on top, and basically they were they were fighting on top until Taskmaster's bad driving is just Daredevil gets blown off the bus by the Punisher, <laughs> and then Punisher comes through the roof of the bus. Tombstone, how or no Taskmaster? How's it? How, what's that rep again? Tombstone? Are you still sticking to the rules? Tell the judges as well as the freebies. He's joking. The and this is. Ah! See, this is the thing I think I like about this particular run. They make him look more, um, more human. Yes. <laughs> in the in the close ups, mm -hmm. and a lot of artists don't do that. So I think that's why I kind of appreciate this, this one too. This part of the tombstone situation. Yeah, Lee Weeks. But yeah, the issue ends with Taskmaster pointing that bus and ready to run down Daredevil. Murder by the numbers is the next issue. You're just like, you know, he's not gonna. Well, um, if it had toxic waste and it was headed towards him and then it like took his powers away, maybe I could see that. But. <laughs> All right, before we get to that next one, here are DG's thoughts on the Punisher. All right, Lil, here's a question. I, you always say yeah, the well. Punisher's more competent when he's like playing off another character. I mean, do you think uh, with in these Daredevil issues, the Punisher's competent? <laughs> Well, as competent as he can be, is he's probably allowed to be. I don't, you know, <laughs> there's probably like some some like status quo that they have to abide by. But I I do like him. Like I said, 
punish your team up. It makes more sense than a Daredevil team up at this point. <laughs> Daredevil and Punisher teamed up, or Punisher teamed up with anybody. I think she thinks the, pun- the Punisher needs a team up, well, you know, like Spider Man used to have, just like a, every because she thinks you know the Punisher is written better when he's when he's always playing off a different character, whether it's Daredevil or Spider Man or whoever. I, I would I would agree with that. I mean, when I used the Punisher, it was it was always with somebody, and because he has such a particular worldview, um, you get to explore that worldview in a contrast with somebody else, which is always a, a way to to not have him necessarily doubt himself. He's a machine in, in certain ways, but you get to explore the themes uh, differently without him just having to doubt himself within his his own world. Um, but I always found that a rich territory when I got a chance to team him up with, with a lot of folks. When Punisher's written well, it's just so good. And when yeah. not, it hurts my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's easy to fall back on just oh, he's a guy with a gun and a and a revenge trip, and uh, and you don't get to go anywhere with it. Uh, exactly. A, the show the show on Netflix did such a great job with like the PTSD that a lot of veterans need to see so that they can get help and stuff like that. So it's just like mm, I'd like to see that more in the book. You know? Yeah, John Bernthal uh, just personified that on so many different levels with that 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 level of trauma. Uh, his body language, everything mm-hmm. about that was uh, unmistakably, you know, the, the character. So, yes, yeah, so there's thoughts on the Bring pun- back Berenthal! <laughs> exactly. Disney, are you listening? Bring him back. Oh, they're listening. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Wait, that I said Disney, not CBR. <laughs> Burn! <laughs> they didn't know Twitter fame wars. <laughs> Bring it all down! Some podcasters just like to watch the world burn. I'm so one of them, but that doesn't mean I steal content. Burn. What? I love to watch the world burn, but that doesn't mean I like to steal content. Oh. Burn. All right, so Daredevil 293. This, I like this cover a oh, lot. Yeah. Epic. Just Too bad that 50 years of Captain America is in the corner. <laughs> uh, I just have a uh, barcode, yeah. Lucky you. <laughs> yeah, that would be a decent poster just with everything else taken off, yeah. I'm sure they have it. May, or they did, yeah. Just hit Daredevil standing over Punisher with a gun. So, yeah. Remember, Daredevil was about to be run over by a bus. <laughs> Grandma got run over by a reindeer. It's that time of year, guys. Hashtag deal with it. <laughs> Until Daredevil throws his billy club. Knocks the, knocks the bus out of here. Now tell me Taskmaster doesn't look like Skeletor. Just go ahead. Tell me. I know he comes flying out of the bus. <laughs> Daredevil just like pins him to the ground because he's like, the trick is finding a movie camp mirror before he manages to turn the tables. Because Frank and the Frank and uh, Tombstone are still going at it in the bus. Hey, kids, this is why you wear your seatbelt. <laughs> no, yeah, just look—he comes fly, sailing out that window. Oh boy, Lord! So yeah, while those two are fighting on the bus, they're double one Taskmaster in the street. Bruh, <laughs> Tombstone told him he's like, "You're next to good, my hands, Punisher." Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, go ahead, burn it. Subtext alert. Don't worry about it. <laughs> gimme, gimme. I'm thirsty for it, bro. Tombstone's definitely thirsty for it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, who is... I want to answer this. Who's running this with the game? Daredevil says the past masters he flips them off. I'm game, right? I'm big on games. <laughs> now he's on top. Then go play with your... Hey, now! Whoa! Hey, hey. There. You're just a good Catholic boy from Hell's Kitchen, buddy. Take it easy. I know. Go play with your... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's just like hitting Taskmaster. I know this kind of thing only encourages Taskmaster. Hey, nice one, Red. Don't mind if I borrow it. Yeah, he's like, he's like using Daredevil's own moves against them. Oh, look, he sweeps the leg and then Half Sweeps the leg. Sweeps the leg, Johnny. Mercy is for the weak. Come on, Red. You can admit it. I impress you too, don't I? Just a little. Subtext alert. Hey-oh. 
I can keep this up all night. Well, what do you say? Oh, Lord, and then, yeah, Frank tackles Tombstone out of the bus. They land on the top of a cab. Not that that means squat to me. I love this. Yeah, Daredevil sees it with his, well, sees, quote unquote, with his radar. <laughs> that cab coming, just like, just manipulates Taskmaster. And, you know, he's like, here, try this one. And he like flips into the street. Taskmaster, impressive, but useless. And he lets him get hit by that cab. Yeah. <laughs> Good old New York yellow cabs. <laughs> Going through dreams isn't usually my style, but something radical was needed to tip the scales and the balancing act between me and Taskmaster. Like a cab. Oh, hey, look, in June, Rocketeer's coming. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, That's a good underrated movie, to be honest. It is, yeah. Yeah. Where's my jetpack, Bruce? <laughs> Where's my jetpack? We we have to that we have to add that to our movie list. Definitely. Back so, in the nineties when they weren't afraid to make crappy movies. <laughs> or just do a one and done. <laughs> oh my lord, yeah, Tombstone and Taskmaster in the street. How could you eat? How can I let you involve us in this with these two? The contest is what's important. Oh, the Punisher man pulls a gun. Pulls out a. Mm, don't you get a Punisher bullet? Frankie's thing. got a gun, guys. <laughs> I love all Tombstones. Like your gun don't scare me. And Tomb, uh, Taskmaster, speak for yourself. <laughs> all your kind takes is a bigger bullet, Tombstone. As for you, Taskmaster, I got your caliber right here. He's got your caliber right here. Oh. <laughs> Send in the clowns. <laughs> they big units. But yeah, basically, Daredevil disarms Punisher and then asks the other... Oh! Daredevil picks up the gun. But then <laughs> Punisher pulls a knife, <laughs> throws it, Daredevil shoots it out of the air, but it still stabs <laughs> Taskmaster in the stomach. Ouchie. And Tombstone runs away yelling, you're out of the game, but I still got a chance to win. So him, yeah. and, him and him and Punisher. This isn't over, Daredevil. <laughs> In the <laughs> shadows, just being a lurky little creep. <laughs> yeah. Daredevil's like trying to stop Taskmaster's bleeding. So the ambulance gets there. The ah. warm red under my hands, I can taste it. Cloying and coppery. Now bathe in the blood of your enemies. Come on, Daredevil. That taste is still in my mouth. <laughs> slipping away. Slipping away. Oh, you know what I, you know I should have did when uh, yeah, the, the Punisher's knife went into his stomach. Cut you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, then we see the kingpin again. The money's going through. Power printed out as and Strang is sitting there with a figure in the shadows. The fat man taking the bait. Excellent, Lieutenant. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody who's tapping their monocle on the desk. Hmm. Monocle, you say? Clue. <laughs> and I shall allow this so called Kingpin of Crime Media Circus as long as it remains my hand. My hand that cracks the whip. Uh. And then, and oh my lord, look at Matt sneaking in to see Taskmaster in, in Bellevue. Told you, sexual attention, bro. And, uh, and I mean, he comes in in just like a like a bathroom. <laughs> and He's look. like Bellevue is the place for crazies. Like, well, you are there, so that tracks. Yeah, he plays a whole blind man thing and uh, basically knocks out Taskmaster's uh, guard. And then uh, he messes with the messes with his IV to wake him up. Is that you, Red, without a mask, just a pair of glasses on? <laughs> uh, this isn't a social call. We're going to talk about the murders. 
<laughs> I love it. He's like, he's not going to say anything. You want Tombstone to win the contest? Hey, now you're playing nasty. Uh, Mr. Even one, we were out. Mm, me, I was just in for a good time, but Mr. Personality had something more going on. He's got a new girlfriend, Christine Harris, City Commission. Ooh. Taking her to the circus. Like I said, send in the clowns. It's on the choo choo. Uh, I think that's going to come about. Yeah, on the choo choo. Epic So, yeah, that's all he's going to say. So, Daredevil lets him go back to sleep. All right, go to sleep. <laughs> Yanks his pain medicine out. Oh my lord, then we see Tombstone painting himself up all uh like uh like a clown. Yeah, I was gonna say like the Joker movie. <laughs> right? <laughs> like I said, send in the clown. <laughs> so I guess did he kill Look, him? he's even got the guy on the back. <laughs> yeah, did he kill him and put him on the toilet or did he kill him on the toilet? I don't know. Oh no, he, he gave probably him... pulled an Elvis. I was gonna say he gave him the Elvis. He killed him on the toilet. <laughs> But yes, the whole thing's going to go down at Grand Central Station. Meanwhile, there's like there's a, there's like a yeah, the Big Apple Circus is there. Oh my god, they got people doing trapeze act in the middle of Grand Central. Damn it, now I want a fried peanut butter and banana sandwich. You mentioned Elvis. Wait a minute, watch. Uh... So yeah, Christine Harris is there speaking. Oh, look, here comes Tombstone. I'll paint it up like a clown with some pies. Right in the face. As hypersensitive are telling Daredevil. Yeah. Uh, there's a fast acting epoxy in there. Hit her in the face, and she's going to, you know, can't, won't be able to breathe. One way to, one hell of a way to go out. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> a pie right to the face. Oh, that's out Nobody little. tell Rob. Nobody tell Rob. That's out little hellfire. <laughs> Nobody oh. tell Rob. I've only got one shot. <laughs> that taste is still in my mouth. <laughs> oh my lord, master disguise again. Now Daredevil's dressed up like a like a homeless guy or something. They call me Matches Malone. <laughs> Wait a minute. He's even carrying a bottle. <laughs> Batman. Yes, right. But yes. Imagine he's... just trying to have some fun at a circus and, and everybody ruins it for you. Oh, yeah, and then Daredevil sees. Oh, look. What's that? Gun barrel sticking out of the ceiling? <laughs> subtle. Real subtle. <laughs> I mean, it's high enough. I'll be... <laughs> so, yeah, Daredevil gets on the trapeze and swings up there. <laughs> grab, grab Frank's barrel. And I'm just like, bro. People on trapezes and spandex, in my experience in comic books, it doesn't end well. So be oh, careful, it, son. Be that's careful. Right. You're creating a new hero or a new villain. Exactly. Diggity dang. <laughs> nice. Uh, so, yeah, Daredevil swings up and pulls Punisher through the ceiling. But oh, wait, the trapeze had a net. We're all good. And as I think as he's falling, yeah, Daredevil takes out Tombstone's pies with his little club and they hit Tombstone in the face. Dick Grayson could never. <laughs> Ooh, how dare you? How dare you? You know you're gonna have to fight somebody. <laughs> burn. Burn. So you have to basically punish her. Well, Daredevil's trying to take out the Punisher. Basically lets them walk away. We could have been allies in this war instead of enemies. Watch your back, Daredevil. What's well, black and white and red all over? Daredevil and Punisher wrestling, obviously. Poor <laughs> little Hellfire's uh, fan fiction. But yeah, he says the Punisher takes off because he has he has more warrants than most of his enemies. Wow. But yeah. Yeah, I know. Then Tombstone's been able to rip that stuff off his face. I could have belonged. I could have been somebody. <laughs> he talked about salty tears. And then we end with uh, 
yeah, the, the group who I guess Tombstone was uh, wanted to be a part of was the hand. Sergeant Finger off the question. Oh yeah, because Tomb I guess Tombstone must have escaped police custody already. <laughs> oh my god, next page it's already headlined Tombstone Escape. Ah, uh, that's this new- tombstone, this taskmaster. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, if you didn't know, that was the hand. Uh, issue 284, one strikes the hand. Get it? <laughs> so, yeah, this one opens up with, uh, I believe this is the leader of the hand. Leader of the pack. <laughs> but, yeah, basically looking at this old, I guess it was a church, but now it's a nightclub. What would you be using this place for anyway? Acts of unspeakable darkness. Uh huh. Well, if you need a band. Wait a minute. We've, we've been here before. A church that turned into a nightclub. Um, <laughs> oh, there was. Mission? <laughs> I, think, I think they closed it down, but there was one in Pittsburgh for a while. It's very weird. I went there once. Isn't it? <laughs> uh, oh, so the they, Infernal I, Mysteries. They they uh, they sacrifice I guess this uh, real estate guy or landlord whatever he was. Eat the rich, I approve. No, oh, this sacrifice is but a taste of the foul blackness we pledge in your tainted name. Because they serve the beast. Man, they they really didn't do Foggy no favors. Like I don't like when they draw Foggy like this. I'm not gonna lie, Foggy <laughs> deserves better than looking like some chubby Jimmy Olsen. No, we're trying to see him. He's eating, so. <laughs> you heard it here first, kid. Chubby, chubby Jimmy Olsen. Fight me. I don't care. How do you eat that stuff, Foggy? Your problem, Matt, is you spend too much time worrying about what's in it. The trick is learning to enjoy the experience. Exactly. Should have got never turned down fries, bro. That, that taste is still in my mouth. <laughs> oh, but then, yeah, they're walking down the street, and while. Well, Foggy's still talking about uh I think it Matt's law license back. Yeah, Matt oh Matt smells a familiar scent. Uh oh who, who um that, that that truck says DP pharmacies and I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> uh yeah. <laughs> um I was like you're in broad daylight as a blind man using your cane to swing from okay. Okay. Oh yeah, because he doesn't want to lose who he's tracking. Yes, and he's like leaping over cars. Yeah, he's he's camp. flipping his way downtown, guys. Flipping my way downtown. Mm-hmm. Uh. So yeah, voice even says once he gets where he, you know, everyone's like, oh look at that, look at that, and you know, it's like I want people to go away in New York. Just start ranting to yourself like a lunatic. Come with your house later. Gonna have to rob here. And let me out. Oh, when they were like, stop the exploitation, and I was just like, yeah, I agree. Stop milking the X-Men for every damn penny they're worth. I'm like, oh, they meant porn. Ah, I I take umbrage at that. (laughs) Exactly. Yes, because Aaron Page is back. Yeah, her. Her and this woman they're working for. Yeah. Giving out all these pamphlets and stuff. Stop the exploitation, and then I love this guy. You talk freak now. You used to pay your bills. I love how. But what is this? Matt trips the guy, and then he thinks like some other guy behind him did it. So, so Matt just like he Matt, starts a riot. <laughs> I mean, I know he wants to talk to Karen, but like he just like set up an innocent guy for a beating. It's New York. He had it come. <laughs> I just thought it always hit me. I was just, just, just always hit me. I'm Matt's like, kind of a jerk. It's fine. We knew this going in. <laughs> Oh, when it, oh, when it comes to women, nothing gets in his way. It's exactly. Morals, ethics, nothing. <laughs> Death. <laughs> oh no, that 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 stops the party and starts a new one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's like, oh, Karen. He's like, hey, Karen, I heard you like the party. Want a party? <laughs> oh. Uh. Hey, you boys, you look at the party. I love the party. He's like, she's like, oh God, Matt, what are you doing here? 
Not of her friend. This one bugging you. you know, this one on your case too, Karen. Boy, her porn must have been good if she if the friend's like, oh man, even blind men are like giving you that. <laughs> right? He can still hear. <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> so yeah, her and the friend separate and I'm working now. I don't have time for whatever here. There's a lot to be said. I know I was in the hospital. I said Mary's name, but yours. But it was typhoid, Mary. Like a disease messing with my head. Convenient. Mm-hmm. It must the Marvel Universe. Exactly. Uh, I'm talking about her cutting her hair. Yeah, I cut it. After you left, that was you were supposed to be we were supposed to be there for each other. Uh, without you, it's so easy to go but oh. So did she go back to porn for a little bit? I don't know. That's what they're making it seem like, and now she's raising a hubbub. Yeah. But those men, they like she, What do they call that? Pulling a Tracy Lord? Said, said too, too deep of a dive for the kids these days? Probably. Maybe. Karen was a 16-year-old, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Fisk Entertainment Television? Gross. Think of a better... I mean, I know you want your name out there, but Rupert Murdoch don't call it Rupert Murdoch Network. I'm just saying. It's sleek. It's catchy. It's three. You know what I mean? Fat. You really want people to call it fat? <laughs> okay. W fat. Yeah. <laughs> the F word in, in, in uh, news. Exactly. But yeah, the uh, anchor doesn't want to read the uh, news. <laughs> Fisk. I'm sure we can come to an understanding. It's unfit for a journalist of my caliber. He's got your caliber right here, mister. Whoa. <laughs> By this love, multi, it says, Mr. Scott, I have a family. Indeed, a wife and 12-year-old son. See that this child suffers the temporary loss of his legs? I'm certain we can come to an understanding. <laughs> yeah, say. Oh my lord! And then we see Daredevil eavesdropping Ben Ur uh, back to Ben Urich interviewing Christine Harris. I don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Asking her, you know, if she knows anything about Tombstone. I don't know why this Tombstone came after me. But then the hand comes for her. The hand, not a hand. Yes, the hand. Talk to the hand. Yes. <laughs> and then Matt tracks them to the roof. Shadow Warriors Ninja. Not some mutated reptiles and half shells. The real thing. Oh. Burn. Burn. Like you guys were created in the same accident. Put some respect on their name. Hand. Hand. Foot plan. Yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking about how they, they destroyed Electra? They helped them murder her. Supposedly. I that, allegedly. I keep that in mind as they come for me with their sharp, lethal toys. Like, I'm just going to say the main guy is definitely not a guy I would want to confront in a dark alley. The outfit, the skin, <laughs> the henchman. <I'm> Jack. <laughs> it's confidence, man. Confidence. Yes. But yeah, these things aren't, these ninja aren't really technically alive anymore. So, like, when he defeats them, they basically go, <laughs> yeah, like, disintegrate in the smoke and go back to that, uh, Back yeah. to the shadowing. <laughs> fancy dresser. Who just like jumps off the roof. But Matt can still track into a playground. One dollar gonna sacrifice Christine it's Harris. It's always that damn playground, isn't it? I know. <laughs> it's a mystical portal in New York. It's fine. I'll allow it. It is a New York playground though, man. The fence with barbed wire on top of it. <laughs> You know, typical kid's fun in the Big Apple. He nailed it. <laughs> it just says he's like, the issue ends with him jumping in the, in the battle, but he's like, I hear the like the roar of an unnatural engine. An infernal engine? Wait, oh. no, that's, that's, not, that's, not the right, that's not the right franchise. But yeah, the, the, the cover of the next one gives it away, 295, so... Because it is the 90s, so, you know, we had two issues with the Punisher, so now we gotta have at least an issue with Ghost Rider. <laughs> well, like, well, like DG said, you know, you know, you have to get some attention. You're not a Spider-Man book. You gotta get attention somehow in the 90s. Oh, absolutely. And I, I don't begrudge him for it, but, I mean, and this doesn't feel as, like, cash grab. Like, I hate when it feels cash yeah. grabby. Like, if it makes sense, 
you know, I they've mean, done it before, things like it, that. It makes sense because, like, the hand is like doing all this like evil rituals and. <laughs> Exactly. It's gonna it's gonna draw the attention of another mystical force. Yep. I just love Daredevil uh sleeping in the battle. Uh, leap, leap. With a vengeance or a spirit of anyway. Always gonna say, no matter how bad the story is, I love the way Ghost Rider's drawn. Just saying. Oh yeah. It's kinda epic. It's kind of epic imagery, you know? Yeah, Lee Weeks did a good job here. Absolutely. So yeah, the so basic first couple pages are just Daredevil and Ghost Go Rider dealing with the hand. Uh, like, look at him go! He's just making short work of him. <laughs> it, it kicks off some sand and gravel, and some of the ninjas like I can't see. Take what comfort you can in your temporary blindness. For my pen and stares, eternal torment. Well, you're, you're a good Catholic boy. What do you expect, buddy? <laughs> then he sees them like dissolve in the mist. This cannot be. Not when there is vengeance still to met out this night. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like this ver Ghost Rider, but I mean, nobody, nobody can monologue and chew the scenery like Zarathos. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. He was such a fancy man. I love Zarathos. <laughs> Eventually, we'll have to get back to some of those original issues. I'll allow it. Uh, so, yeah, so some of the hands stay behind and distract Daredevil and uh, Ghost Riders. The rest get away with Christine Harris. It's, I love this part where Daredevil just like flips the guy over with the seesaw <laughs> right into the fence. Again, it's always with the seesaw. <laughs> you see it coming. That's all I'm saying. You see it coming? <laughs> I did saw that coming. <laughs> oh my lord, I love this one. The, the one ninja tries to put those sides right in Ghost Rider's eye sockets. You fool! <laughs> do your Hades with you. What do you know of the abyss? Uh, oh lord, and then yeah, Ghost Rider. It almost looks like a woman, but yeah, Ghost Rider like grabs this last ninja and tries to do the penance there. And then Ghost uh, Daredevil gets in the middle of it. And get some images. Basically, Oof. the hand, breaking, the hand breaking off from uh, Hydra because oh look, the leader of the hand was a. Uh... All right, this is gonna come out wrong. Naked sword fighting with. Uh... Uh... You're Von gonna have to make that a drop, Philip. I'm sorry. Hey, Baron Von Strucker. <laughs> what naked? <laughs> what naked sword fighting? Mm -hmm. It's for a. Uh... The subtext. And if you are fighting, <laughs> and if you are fighting a man naked, wouldn't you kick him in the junk? <laughs> but yeah, Baron von Strucker. Hmm. Boy, look, he's even fighting with that monocle in it on his face. Hmm. Clue. <laughs> New York's night of terror. <laughs> We're starting a war, baby. <laughs> Get it? It all comes full circle. Were you paying attention? Yeah. So with the, all the ninjas either destroyed or escaped, yeah, Ghost, Ghost Rider gets weak and turns back into Dana Catch. New York might have there. <laughs> because, yeah, for some reason, yeah, Peter Scott's all of a sudden reading the headlines they want him to read. His, uh, his son took a long walk off a short pier and he was real close to sleeping with the See. Please explain. This child will be perfectly fine as long as our star anchor man continues to inject the proper degree of sensationalism to maintain the rate we seek. If not, as regard to the contract employee, his medical plan ex extends to his family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my lord, and then I guess typhoid. <laughs> Is typhoid writing headlines for the paper now? Headless bond at topless party? Well, I think the Daily Post is supposed to be the New York Post. So new, if you know anything about the New York Post, they definitely write crappy, trashy headlines like that. Oh, yeah. Don't they have like half naked women in there half the time? <laughs> well, it is page six. Boom. Oh, <laughs> sick. <laughs> Above and below. That's the, oh, okay. I know I get it. Now I get the church thing. I 
above and below. Above is so below. I kind of got it. Above and below, dancing, good times. That's what the signs literally say. There's only one thing you need to know. <laughs> Look at all these get people trussed up I for sacrifice. It's funny because yeah, they're they're they got what four of them hanging there naked, ready to get sacrificed. Try not to exert yourself, Mister Savini. <laughs> oh yes, a, ga a gangsta working for the kingpin. Yes, yeah, Savini. Mm, but yeah, he's talking about uh, the head of the hand saying, you were aware of recent murders in the city at the hands of Tombstone and Taskmaster. It's not random. Each of the dead can be tracked back to one in manner to one of you. Uh, we represent certain interests designed to divest themselves of their businesses in Hong Kong when that city passed to the Red Chinese in 1997. Yeah, yeah. That future year. They Surprised they didn't hold out to two thousand, but you know it is what it is. I know that was so weird. Just nineteen ninety-seven. It had to have been. Oh, right. you know, so many years from now, and it was the year end. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But my favorite part: we get Sister Maggie. We haven't seen you in so long, Sister Maggie. No, we don't. She's away in South America doing the Lord's work. I know. Yeah, but just to mention. Yeah, the nuns are just like, yeah, she told us to help you any way she can. Well, I got this poor schmuck for you. Can you take care of him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like Danny did it. Yeah. The mission, yeah. Uh, he, I love Matt. That's not on Mr. Personality dragging you back on your feet. He won't. He only comes out when he's needed. And I have a feeling he knows things are, he knows you're taking care of things. Oh, Matt. Spirit of vengeance for a day. Great. <laughs> Oh, my Lord. And then we see... You're invited, too. Yeah, we see Cass again. Yeah, about to get killed by hand and told Daredevil saves him. If you <laughs> insist. Staying clean, Mad Dog. You got it. Except me. Uh, you know I won't go near water. Get it. <laughs> see the last issue. But yeah, so he basically got him the information about that nightclub. <laughs> Stay safe. You know it. Go home and lock the doors. You know it. I mean, don't you watch Fisk TV? Why did you say that name? No. <laughs> so yeah, it's the, hand, the last page is the hands about ready to sacrifice their victim, their naked victims. There's Daredevil. You want to raise a devil so much? Try me. Now that's a great, that's a great page. I, I know see. that last, especially that last panel. Yeah, just him about in front of that big window. Yeah. Next balancing act. Yes, our final one to today, uh, Daredevil 296. Oh, what about the cover? Crushed by the hand. Ha <laughs> I like a good pun. It's fine. I'll allow it. I know. So, yeah, so as Daredevil's trying to fight the hand, oh, look, it's the chase. Sticks old group. Yes, little stick. We get it. <laughs> I wasn't gonna point it out. You're the one that pointed it out. And somehow, before the battle began, the hand uh, put their put clothes back on their victims. Magic, bro. Shadow magic. More like editors, bro. <laughs> or the comics code, maybe. It's true, true. Because this was still a comic code. <laughs> We're still a couple years, well, like a decade away from breaking that, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so we see Daredevil thinking about the, the different members of the chase while they're all fighting the hand. Star, who of course he's, in, he's just throwing stars. Flame! I, I wonder he, what that person does. Well, Johnny Storm lights and lighting guys on fire. Wing! Schwing or Wing? Wing! Spear, I'm guessing, because I've never heard the mention of this one. And finally, Stone, Mighty Stone, who, stay tuned, we'll get back to him in like two episodes of Comic Capers, I believe. Yes. He, th he throws Daredevil's sword here. Catch it. As Daredevil's cutting down the victims. As they hey, what about me? Uh -huh. I got friends, connections. What about me? See? So 
see it. Daredevil's cutting them all down as Stone catches them. Oh, Lord. Yeah, the hand's losing. And their leader says, uh, May I <laughs> tell him I was worthy of our beast in his. Just gets his head cut off. Wow. Couldn't show much, but fine. That isn't is in Dammy, <laughs> the fancy dresser. <laughs> but oh look, she before she leaves, she knocks down a spear. Who Daredevil's like, boy, his heart beats calmer than I thought it would be. <laughs> but then isn't Dammy walks out walks out of the church, surrounded by cops. Doesn't drop her sword, so they. She leaves. They Rules of the Marvel Universe. Don't be a cop in New York City. Well, they, well, they sup supposedly they blow her away. <coughs> like no one deserves that. <laughs> mm, is it over? I think it is. Yeah, right. Mm, but yeah, that's the chase have disappeared. Okay, and now back to back to Kingpin. Back to Fisk Entertainment Television. Sabini, you know, Jimmy the Whale, complaining the Kingpin. He's like, you know what? I pay up my money. <laughs> I shouldn't get shook down by some ninjas. Uh, their name wants the muscle in, and I got to get shook down by their ninja turtles. <laughs> mm. Eastman's oh. like, yes, keep mentioning us. <laughs> King, I know. The Kingpin's barely paying attention. I don't want to strung up like something in the meat market and bunch of kung fu clowns. Where do you get off making it's you who got bit on their fat? Ooh. Ooh. Huh? Oh. Oh, Mr. <laughs> Fisk. Oh, Mr. Fisk. I didn't mean it. It's a bad time. Mr. Sabini seemed to be in the mood to let off some hot air Maltese. Sadly, unlike his namesake, the whale, Mr. Sabini lacks a blowhole to which <laughs> Anything, I swear I'll be good. No, please, Mr. Sabini. <laughs> please help Mr. Sabini remedy that condition. So, yeah, Maltese takes out one of his eyes. Well, does he crush one of his eyes or take it out? But, yeah, loses it. It's enough. gone. Either way, it's gone. Uh, I love K Kingpin's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sabini, I saw it's bleeding all over the carpet. Yeah, he pushed it in, it looks like. Pushed it in, down and out. Scooped it right out. Pushed it in and out. Scooped it right out. <laughs> uh, Subtext alert? I don't know. <laughs> maybe. And we see Matt on his way to maybe meet with... Tap, tapping my way downtown. <laughs> uh, going to meet Karen, but he gets stopped by uh, Stone. You know, basically using Stick's name. It's like, okay, we need your help. Okay, four stick. Meanwhile, my hypersenses lose themselves in her. What? Yes, Karen, your chopped liver. Hashtag deal with it. He got the hypersenses. That's enough. <laughs> oh, my Lord. But then they're doing the autopsy and is a Nami who basically jumps up and kills the corner. Aww. What a waste! Oh. Full time kill you, chubby your cholesterol level. But that's what you get, fat shaming kid. <laughs> so yeah, then we see Daredevil with that chase, talking about the hand. We basically sneak in to attack them because there's a traitor in their midst. Spear, get it? <laughs> He wants E2, Brutus. E2. He wants to be part of the hand. He wants to be a finger, see? <laughs> so yeah, the chase are getting attacked. Uh, oh, and they're in a they they've been holding up in a meat packing plant, so <laughs> meat packing. Is that How a bone? Is, is Daredevil using a oh geez. Is that a bone Daredevil's using? Is that a bone club? Smacks her in the face with that bone. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the face. <laughs> See, look. 
claims she hates her drops, but she loves them. No, I love my drops. I call my drops. I'm like the only person that calls their drops. <laughs> Not in the face. I don't know. Ray calls his. Ray calls everyone's drops. <laughs> he loves calling yours. <laughs> No, not to sound biased, I do have kind of have some of the best drops. You have the most. I will get. I, I when I was loading this uh, soundboard, guys, you definitely have the most. Yes. I oh, think the pants come off next. <laughs> I mean, this fight is pretty buck wild. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, is a Nami again? Is trying to crush Daredevil, just like on the cover. He's like, I just want to hold you. Shh, shh, now, baby. Shh. Because Spears getting all mad because she's like, I don't need you anymore. I got to be a real, a more mature man. Devil, it's you two who will receive my gifts. Um. <laughs> uh, it's Spear gets he all. He says the, the hand demands riper fruit, and I'm like, burn. <laughs> <laughs> What a sexist, misogynist burn. thing to say, but burn. So he asks, so Spear gets all mad and tries to kill Daredevil. Yes, Daredevil, you'll serve the beast very well. No, come to mama. Yikes. Not the mama. Exactly. Where's the frying pan? <laughs> so yeah, so that sticker somebody yelling, yeah, don't let her near you. And you know, Matt's trying to tell himself, you know, they're not really alive. So yeah, he throws that spear through with Zammy. Uh, no, the fallen one's escaping. Come back. I'm nothing without you. Without you. He vaporizes her. Like something out of a Flash comic book. <laughs> yeah, so, but you did what you did. You can't blame yourself, but it had to be done. She wasn't even human. That that doesn't make it any easier. So then we see, I guess, Matt going home later on the last page, but then just staring up at that kingpin in that tower. Uh, because I think DG even said this. You know, this was his big uh, pitch. <laughs> Hesitating, sticking to uh, the necessary level. I wasn't sure if I could rise up again. Uh, it this time it's real, Kingpin. This time you're coming down, and all that's at risk is my soul. Next. So yeah, so if if you if you don't know it's going down, yes. In two weeks, yeah, we're coming back for Fall of the Kingpin. I'm excited. Very well crafted. The Fall of Kingpin, the Fall of Typhoid. Guest starring Nick Fury. <laughs> and I can't, a quick and one. If you're an MCU only fan, not the Nick Fury you're used to. <laughs> no, the, the old one, yes. And uh, a one page, and a one page, uh, cameo appearance by a certain king of the selfies because you know <laughs> because it was issue 300 anyway <laughs> all right so you ready for ray ray's feedback yes put the triplet on all right i'm gonna have to pull up his picture first but yeah i mean like i said a little over 10 minutes kids so go get your drinks and your popcorn or whatever because he's got thoughts oh a lot of fun he's burdened by thoughts this time because you know, well, again, maybe he maybe he got upset that he he sent Matt Kona six seconds more feedback than you last time. So now now he's giving you the big, big old ten. But yes, uh, but yes, yeah, so that's right. For those of you who don't know, uh, our friend <laughs> at this point who doesn't know, but sure, I mean, again, family, it's always someone. It first. could be it's every it could be someone's first podcast. I get it. I got you. But yes, our friend Ray, podcaster extraordinaire from Australia, host of Last Sons of Krypton, a super hey. podcast. Oh, he says he puts emphasis on the you know what. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I heard, uh, I heard him. I heard him catch himself today when you guys were recording. I told him at the end, at the beginning of every one of those episodes. Uh, to know her is to fear her, a Spider Woman podcast. And you can hear him on this podcast the last Tuesday of every month talking Scarlet Spider during the Sausage Fest with me and Matt Tona. <laughs> and, of course, the big one is Baby Into the Into Night. Into the Night. The Moon Knight Podcast. All right. Don't get it twisted. The Moon Knight Podcast. That's right. So, here, again, lots of big, big feedback. So, let's see what Ray had to say. Hello, Phil and Lilith. This is Ray. Hi, Ray. Um, I have 
just some feedback I wanted to share with you for your discussions on Daredevil uh, issues 291 to 296. Uh, now, as prefaced by Phil, I think in, in the last episode or so, uh, this era of Daredevil is is a personal favourite of mine. It was the, the springboard uh, for me to get into Daredevil. Uh, and, and I just feel the likes of Nascenti um, and DG Chichester uh, and Lee Weeks and Ron Garney are just classic, just a classic run uh, and uh, really highly enjoyable. So, again, there's going to be full marks for these ones. Um, and so I just want to do raise some points as to why I thought it was really, uh, really enjoyable. Um first off, I guess, just trying to put it in context, and these are just some thoughts I had whilst I was reading it. I mean, I think we have to kind of just remember the time that these came out, which was in the early 90s, 91, I think. Um, and so we have the likes of um, a, a big artist boom of, you know, the, the Jim Lee and your, your Mark Silvestri, Rob Liefeld, Todd McFarlane, all that. Uh, Eric Larson, which were uh, who were really the, the rock stars of Marvel um, and, and comic books during that time. Um, I think it's ma massively underrated, and they were massively underappreciated. Um, Ron Garney and Lee Weeks, and just the the solid art that both of them do for the Daredevil title. Also, similarly as well, um, again for the sign um, for its time. Uh, these stories by DG Chichester and Ascenti, uh, it, it just really has a very different tone and one that I really do like um, compared to uh, a lot of the other ones, again, during the time. Now, we also always have a, a kind of fun and lively Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man title, um, whether it be, sorry, Spectacular with Spider-Man or, or Amazing. Uh, the X-Men were obviously doing great guns over there, but Daredevil was really paving a way um, for a more, and I think I mentioned it last time, a bit of a more mature read, and it's a lot more, um, I guess, uh, the tone is a lot more, I don't want to say grounded, but it's kind of like that. It's, uh, it's very, um, uh, it kind of really takes itself seriously. Uh, and not to say that the others don't, um, but uh, it really does. I mean, again, the likes of uh, the Avengers around this time, they weren't the most popular title. Uh, really, the mutants were making it all. Um, but Daredevil, for me, was one that I kept on coming back and back, um, again and again just because of the writing. Uh, and, and reading it now, like uh, almost 30 years later, uh, it really does hold up so well. Um, I'd like to also just give big props to, uh, to Nascenti and um, I think... Uh, when well, Nascenti does 291, which is a great issue uh, with Bullet, um, really, uh, the, just the, the, the way that uh, the characters are written, um, you do get a, a bit more of a sense of them rather than the fact that here is just Bullet, you know, as a cameo. And that kind of carries across to um, 292, 293, 294, and 295, where I think DG Chichester really has a great handle with um, with using characters such as Taskmaster, uh, Tombstone, the Punisher, and, and Ghost Rider. Now, it's no secret that the Punisher and Ghost Rider uh, were very marketable during the 90s. You have them in the comics um, because of A, um, your title was kind of flagging, so you probably need a boost, or B, um, uh, B, or actually, it's probably just A, isn't it? Just <laughs> um, So I'd hate to think that Daredevil was struggling, but I, I guess it was easy for those characters to go and, um, like Spider-Man, to go make cameo appearances. It's, it's just a good way to tie um, the title, the titular character to the Marvel Universe. And so we get Punisher, we get, um, and I love it, oh, you know I'd love it, Taskmaster, but Tombstone, two, two great villains um, off against Daredevil and Punisher. And I love this throwdown, uh, Punisher versus Tombstone. We see Punisher almost breaking his elbow, not realising Tombstone is uh, cold as ice, as hard as marble. I love it. Uh, and uh, and Taskmaster just replicating everything Daredevil does. This is a great kind of throwdown. And also Daredevil and Punisher going at it uh, against each other was very 
one of the one of the cool battles uh, for me. I think it was one of the first times I saw Daredevil and Punisher face off, and I absolutely loved it. Uh, similarly, Ghost Rider I thought was done very well, written very well. We know Howard Mackey. Uh, was the major writer for Ghost Rider, but I think DG Chichester did a really good job with Ghost Rider, um, just the way he was used. I love that interaction between the pen and stare uh, of Ghost Rider and one of the hand, uh, and it just kind of like short-circuiting because the hand is not really uh, like a human person. Uh, so that was cool. And then Daredevil kind of breaking that short circuit, but him getting uh, a reveal of... Um, of Vince, uh, of Von Strucker and the hand fighting it off and then talking about the beast. And that kind of takes me to, yeah, the, the hand itself and this thing about the beast. And, and I think compared to the likes of the latter runs, um, I will say the Charles Saul run, which is more recent, which he did reintroduce stuff with the hand and, and Shadowland. I think, again, I think DG Chichester does a far superior job with the hand. Again, I might be biased because it was, uh, probably one of the first times I had come across the hand, but uh, really, really cool stuff with uh, Izanami. Uh, she's a strange, scary character, but we also get uh, sticks uh, allies, and and I love seeing it. Like uh, Stone, obviously, but Wing, Flame. Uh, what what else was there? Star, and then you had Spear, who um, was lo and behold uh, a little bit of a Judas to them all, but. Really fun stuff. Um, I, I just enjoyed everything about it, uh, even the the seamless transition between Lee Weeks and Ron Garney on art was was really good. Also, I can't not mention uh, the development we see of Kingpin, uh, and I loved seeing his rise or, or, or his um, uh, plan to kind of take over the city and start building up a media kind of empire. Um, the idea of him, uh, how do I sell my newspaper? Well, I've actually got to put in some big stories. What are the big stories? I've got to create these um, these horrible crimes. So it, it's it's a, a really good way of saying Kingpin and his offsider uh, Maltese at the moment, who's kind of a little bit of a psycho himself. Uh, really great to see um, the Kingpin and knowing what comes up in the lead up to Daredevil 300. Uh, so the king, kingpin is is really slowly making his mark, and by the end of this, we see Daredevil turning his sights on uh, to the kingpin. Uh, also, just off the side as well, other supporting characters. Um, it was very touching. I loved it at the end of two ninety one. Uh, just a a reunion of Matt and Foggy, because uh, Foggy has been pining for a while about about seeing Matt again. Uh, so that was very fun and very cool to see. Uh, wrap up at in 291 and Karen Page as well and the reintroduction of her um, she's actually f um, fighting against pornography uh, we know her past um, you know as per the Frank Miller era uh, so really fantastic that we got to see that again and although it's a bit of a bumpy a bumpy restart with Matt um, it's good to see her in the comics uh, anyway mm -hmm. but yeah overall I mean again uh, giving this an A plus um, I loved every single one of these issues, and again, it might be a massive bias, but I don't care. This is my <laughs> this is my rating, uh, so really good. Um, I really enjoyed it. I know Phil will probably enjoy it. I'm interested to know what Lilith uh, would have made of these. Um, I could I could also imagine as well that this tone is maybe very similar to a lot of Detective or Batman comics. Uh, I don't know. It just has a, a particular seriousness to it, um, but not. Um, too serious that it, it, it takes itself too serious, if you know what I mean. Uh, it's I think the mix is just right. Um, and again, just to to wrap up, I, I think that the characters that DG, DG Chichester use, he he has a deft hand in all of them. So uh, very very well done. Uh, just a little little references I picked up. Um, the uh, what do you call it? Um, the the coroner. Uh, is that right? The um, in the autopsy, Romero. So when um, Izanami got reanimated and she kind of breaks his neck, I guess a little nod there to Dawn of the Dead, uh, George Romero, um, of, about her coming back to life. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, and uh, no, and just also um, I liked. Uh, I wonder if there was a reference with Soltes, um, the the victim to Taskmaster, um, and I like this character Mad Dog, um, which Daredevil kind of. He kind of taunts, but he he's kind of like the Crawley. He kind of gives the info for Daredevil, um, but really good stuff. Anyway, 
I shall leave it at that. Uh, like I said, I know Phil, you probably love these. I love them too. But yeah, Lilith, I'm hoping you give it. I'm hoping you give it a good score. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll listen on. Cheers. Well, well, man of many thoughts. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I could see. Yeah, I mean, there are there were some Batman stories, probably which you should read, Ray, that have that you know. That have that mood, and Lee Weeks has drawn some Batman, so yeah. And of course, he had to get the Moon Knight reference in, and so Will. I, if he's, I like this era of Daredevil, so it's um, it's grounded. It's like he's really fighting for something. You know, he's trying to get his name. I think you have to ground it after you went to hell. I think that's pretty much was like the that. thing. Yeah, that's fun for a while. But it sounds yeah. like very complimentary. It's like, okay, we went way out on this branch. Now we're going to rein it back in and kind of get them back to basics. Yes. Gimme, gimme. So so do you agree with Ray's A? Oh, yeah, absolutely. The art flows. Um, there's just enough dialogue and just enough plot and action. Like, it's a very well-paced, well-put-together story, like I said at the beginning. So no complaints for me here. Very good. All right, so after I let them know what we do, should we get out of here? Let's do it. Because we did go long again, but these are we had a bunch of issues, and they man, they're good stories. All right, so of course next week will be Wade's World, back to Wade's World, where we can use those naughty uh, drops. Uh, next week, Dared, uh, Deadpool, Back in Black. That mini series, that five issue mini series, and then again in two weeks, Daredevil two ninety seven through three hundred, Fall of the Kingpin, and then Daredevil, the, 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 Deadpool is Circle Chase, and after that we'll be covering Daredevil Fall from Grace from uh, three nineteen through three twenty five, and then Deadpool Sins of the Past mini series, and to finish off the year, Daredevil three forty five through three fifty, ah. Uh, by our good friend Jam D. Mateus. So that's a good like plan, Jam. Lots of <laughs> lots of good Daredevil and uh Deadpool coming up for you. Coming up for her. Yes, definitely does. I do I do set the plan, Jan. Sounds like a plan, Jan. Bubble of a boo boo. All right. So be please are enjoying this content. Be like Ray. Please send us your feedback on anything we do everything capes and lunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382-2737 that's 614-38 capes and remember to follow comic capers and all of our shows on social media facebook twitter instagram uh, go subscribe to the youtube channel you can watch this video uh links to the patreon links to merch oh i should put a link up to our uh New GoFundMe for us to buy DC Comics. Hey, you have an extra $4 billion sitting around? Help us buy DC Comics. We'll put your name in the books. Anyway, so yes, links to everything all in one convenient place. That's Linktree, L I N K T R dot E E slash Capes and Lunatics. And remember to support the sponsors, Tweaked Audio. Listen, I think last time, didn't we say, listen like Matt Murdock, get yourself some Tweaked Audio headphones. <laughs> And also be like Matt Murdock and hunt a killer. <laughs> Michelle Gray needs your help, guys. Um, it's still a pandemic. Uh, we still shouldn't be going out. So if you want an escape room in a box, definitely check it out. And use the code Southgate for both of those for a discount. And go pick up Pod Life, the book. Now in digital and paperback. Audio version is coming for volume one. And volume two coming soon. So yes, go pick that up on Amazon. And when you do use the code for Southgate media group right down there in the show notes, help us support this show, the Southgate media group network and that evil man in the shadows, Rob master doom Southgate, make it rain. So says master Doom. your weak sauce. <laughs> Mark my words. Lil hellfire. Uh, if you nerds want to hang out with me on Twitter, you can find me on Twitter at Lil Hellfire. I'm on Instagram with the cool kids or your hip grandparents at Lil Hellfire 86 for personal life updates. And of course, for the memes at Lil Hellfire 69. And speaking of memes, if you're on TikTok, be sure to follow me and I will give a follow back at Lil Hellfire 69. Somebody save me. 
Pull yourself up and slip into it. Social media. Smash it. So Rob. Smash it. Smash that. Smash that like button, bro. Smash it. That's right. All right, everyone. Again, thank you for joining us. Remember that I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, good there. That's what you're looking for. Wait, I know it's not Spider Man, but until then, swing on back. Don't let them go. Tap, tap, tap in my way downtown. <laughs> <laughs>